Hi everybody, my name is Eric Rentamaki. I'm the guy that discovered Uperlites and I got in touch with Don Fosbender, Diver Don, and he asked me to do a little video for his YouTube channel. I'm doing a couple of Uperlite spears for him that he found himself diving and I'll show you what Uperlites look like with a little UV on. If we can get that there. <sighs> Just looks like a regular black light or black stone in daylight. Hit it with UV and she lights up. Now we're going to make this into a sphere. I'm not going to show you the entire process, but uh, just make sure you have proper training and the proper machinery to do this stuff. I'll show you a few of the steps and show you the finished product. All right, thanks. All right, we're back. This is my Diamond Pacific Titan machine. This is a 36 grit wheel. This is the wheel we're going to use to turn that oblong rock into a semi-round rock. And then we'll take over to the sphere machine. All right, that's going to be a little loud, but I'll show you a little bit of grinding. I'm going to grind this down, make it round. See that took off quite a bit of material already. That was sticking out like that. And uh, make sure you always wear ear protection. And I have this all marked out already with a pencil where I want to go with it. So this is the section here that we're going to keep. So it'll be in here. So all this stuff on the outside has got to come off. After about 15 minutes of grinding, this is what we got. Starting to look like a ball. Nice and round, no big flat spots. Got some of that nice pattern in there. That's where the uperlite, the nice sodalite is right there in that white cracked area. Now onto the sphere machine. This may look kind of messy, but this is my Highland Park uh, normal speed sphere machine. Looks kind of messy. We're gonna put this into these cups. These three cups are going to grind it into a perfect sphere. And I'm going to start by loosening some of these bungee cords. They are very, very tight right now. And we'll loosen this one up. Make it a little easier to put this in here. Okay, we'll get that in there nice and snug. And then this is the water system. We'll get this water dripping. Get a nice little drip. Now and then, not too fast, not too slow. Slow it down a little bit. Just a drip every once in a while. Doesn't need to be a lot of water. Now this is gonna be kind of noisy when I start it up. And then I'm gonna adjust this second bungee cord. Here we go. And you wanna see that nice dancing all around? That means it's in there properly. This is gonna go for about 45 minutes to two hours, depending on how many little hard spots and flat spots I left in there. Um, so we'll be back in, I don't know, about 40 minutes, we'll give it a check. All right, been running on the steering sheet for, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes. We Getting really round, so we got a couple little little spots because we got her pretty close when I ground it. So this is going to be a pretty cool looking sphere, which you got. You can see that black contrast with that super bright soul light in the middle is going to look really nice. Just so you guys know what I'm using, this is a convoy. This is one of the ones that says super light right on it be able to get these on my website here very shortly. The bigger sphere going. Put some light on it and you can see that it's uh, quite a nice sphere. Incredible All right, 
Now our rock is out of the sphere machine. It's a nice, perfect round circle. That's the only thing we use the sphere machine is to actually make it absolutely perfect round. And now I'm going to use the Diamond Pacific Titan. I'm going to go 280, or this is 600, excuse me, 1200, and then 3000. And then we'll do a cerium oxide wheel to finish it off. Um, I won't make you listen to this whole process. I'll just give you a second of this here on the 600. This is pretty quiet compared to the grinding. You don't have to push super hard because you don't want to make it go all around. But when it's done, it'll be awesome. I'll show you it all finished here in just a second. Your finished sphere is done. Using two different light sources, one from above and a flashlight from the side using a Raymond Wu Beast flashlight. This right here. Tried and true. And all the stuff you see behind. This is like uh, my best Uper light sphere, one of my better Uper lights, and some other Uper lights and other long wave materials back behind. But. Here you go. Your largest sphere is 2.8 inches, I believe. And the smaller one was 2.1 inches. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks a lot.